everyone. I'm Chef Chaz and I'm here at Stu Leonard's R&D Kitchen and today we're going to make a delicious French apple tart. It's one of the recipes featured in Stu Leonard's Winning Recipes Cookbook. And one of the great things about this time of year, it's a very, uh, very nice alternative to a, uh, an apple pie and it's going to use apples that are, that are really great this time of year. They're in uh, full season and the difference between apples that you can get all year round is the ones that come locally and the ones that are uh, this time of year are going to have more robust flavor. It's going to have a very firm uh, flesh and they're great eating and baking apples as well. We're going to start first with a uh, pastry cream and the first ingredient to go in the pot is one cup of milk. And while that's heating up in a small bowl I'm going to add two egg yolks. Three tablespoons of sugar one tablespoon of flour, all-purpose, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm just going to mix these ingredients together. This is a, a French pastry cream. Uh, it's called uh, creme pâtissier, but it's basically it's a very fancy pudding. Um, if you wanted to substitute uh, your favorite vanilla pudding, you can absolutely do that. I'm just going to leave this mixture right here as we move on to the puff pastry. And this is something you can pick up at any grocery store. It's in the freezer section. And it's something I really enjoy working with. Um, I've cut a small piece of pastry here. And I also cut two strips off the side. And what that's going to do is I'm going to make a little border to hold the pastry cream and the apples on. I'm just taking a little bit of egg wash. This is one egg slightly beaten with just a little bit of water to help the egg flow on the pastry. Placing the strips on each side of the puff pastry. We're going to trim those up in a minute to make it look nice and flush. All right. I'm just going to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract to our milk that's almost ready. And what I'm going to slowly do is take a little bit of this egg and sugar mixture with the flour and cornstarch and slowly introduce it to the, the tempered milk. All right, and this will take just about a minute or so and it's going to come to a boil and it's going to get nice and thick. And that's going to be our base for the puff pastry. I have some that was prepared yesterday and I recommend preparing it a day in advance. This way it will be cooled down enough to handle. If you don't have a pastry bag, you can use a Ziploc bag. You could just spoon this on. And you just want to create a small layer of pastry on the bottom, uh, pastry cream on the bottom. There you go. And you can see it's very simple. All right. One of the things I like to do is to give it a little decorative edge with a paring knife. I'm just going to fold the pastry over. This will ensure the strips that I put on earlier will stay on and give it a nice decoration as well. Today I'm using a, a Gala apple. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a nice firm apple. It's slightly tart with a little bit of sweetness. It's going to go very well with the pastry. Uh, any apple could really be used uh, with the exception of maybe a Macintosh, which will tend to yield a little too much water for this recipe. And this time I'm just going to slice them. Nice thin slices.
I'm going to use two apples for this one tart. This recipe could also be made with uh, what we call stone fruit, peaches, plums, nectarines, and during the, uh, the summertime with fresh berries. Although the summer recipe, you'd cook the pastry and pastry cream separately, where in this particular one, we're going to roast the apples right on top of the puff pastry. Reserve these for another tart. You can see I fan the apples out on top. Now is a good time to rearrange them if you have to make them look nice for the oven. And this is going to go into a 400 degree oven and it's going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. As you can see, I have one that's finished already. It just came out of the oven. What you want to do is cool it on a rack. Once it's cool, you can take a little apricot glaze, which I have. You could use fresh apricot jam if you'd like. Just melt it down with a little bit of water on your stove top. And we're just going to brush it on the edges. This will give it a nice shine. It'll even the sweetness. And it'll also uh, act as a slight preservative. So this. Uh, tart will last a, a day or so for you. Again, a great alternative to uh, classical apple pie. This is one of my French favorites. And here we have a finished sample decorated with some fresh cream, apple slices, and we'll put it on a plate of caramel and chocolate sauce. Once again, thank you for joining me in today's R&D Kitchen at Stu Leonard's. Bon appetit.